Okay. Hope we hopefully we are rolling. I have propped my cell phone up in a very weird, precarious way. If you could see it, you'd be laughing at me. So, anywho, it's working. That's all that matters. Because <clears throat> when I do stuff on a table, it's just better that you that I have my hands like free. Filming one-handed with um, a cell phone is quite annoying. I just wanted to show my latest creation. And I'm sorry, I gotta keep my stuff over to the side because my camera is on, uh, or my cell phone is on this side. So anyway, I'm trying to remember to keep everything over there. So I just wanted to film, um, show you my latest creation that I took a um, Avengers calendar, one of the pages in the calendar um, from last year. I had this calendar for um, two years actually. I bought it in 2015 and never used it for anything. It was a 2016 calendar and I was I knew that I was going to be using the artwork in the calendar and not the calendar itself for something and I never got around to using it so I am now using it and I made a faux dory. It's laminated. Um, the cover, the other side of the cover, the orange, is just orange cardstock and I put the two together in a laminating sheet and a coworker has a small laminator. Um, I work at a school, public school for those that don't know. And one of my coworkers has one of those small uh, personal size laminators and so I had already bought the laminating sheets and so I put it through twice and so it made it quite sturdy, quite um, stiff. So it was perfect. And I punched a hole in the middle for the uh, closure elastic and the elastic is from Walmart all they have is um, white at least at the Walmart the two Walmarts that I have been to only have white and it is a uh, two millimeter I believe so I made three holes for the um, M the inside notebooks and there are three holes here but I took the three and just tied them together in one big knot here <clears throat> it's not it's not beautiful but I was thinking about maybe putting some kind of a bead on the end there or something. I wasn't sure, so that's why I left it like that. And um, I'll turn it. This is three separate knots from the three holes. Okay, now I'll show you the inside. Um, the inside, uh, until I can find a zipper pouch, I just took a regular Ziploc bag. I believe it was it was either quart size or sandwich size and I cut the end off and I used washi to tape it down and it is just um, I left the middle open so I can see what's in there right now it's just my pencil and so basically you just have a zippered pouch that's all I mean just have a zippered pouch it's not that fancy smancy it's not that big of a deal we're talking budget people and I have some, and the good thing about zipper, I mean, washi taping down the bottom, you also have another pocket here for, you know, this is um, a receipt and some a paper that I have to take back to work. So, yeah, I have different size notebooks because what I found on the cheap uh, seemed like none of them were all the same size. So this one, I believe, came in a two-pack. And I've gone all over the place looking for dollar or less notebooks, so I can't remember where I got it. I think it was a two-pack. I want to say it was at one of the craft stores, probably Michael or Hobby Lobby. This one that says Genius Notes on it is a 88-cent notebook from Walmart. They um, have different color covers. Gray, I want to say dark blue, and I want to say maybe brown, that craft paper brown. I did have to cut it. It was a little wider, so I did cut it. And I didn't do a super duper job. It's a little ragged. It's got little strings here and there I pull off every so often, but it works for me. This is just a piece of scrapbooking paper that I had that I thought was really um, kind of cute and bright. So basically I just folded it in half and folded this lip up. But because it was so high up here, it was hiding some of my shorter stickers, I just cut a notch out on both sides so I could see the shorter stickers. Um, you see, because if it was covered here, I wouldn't be able to see these stickers. So um, these are just stickers I took out of the bigger sticker batch and cut a few pieces here and there just to have. Here is another cardstock piece of paper. I just again took it, folded it up, and I have a big um, pocket here. And then I found the little plastic pockets which you can't see. Let me um, 
see the plastic pocket here? It's just a stick-on pocket. And I want to say I got it at, mm, oh gosh, I want to say maybe Staples. It was a pack of 20 or it might have been Target. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just plastic pockets. And you can pretty much stick them on anything. So I put one here, one here, because I had big pockets here, and I didn't want to do the notch out thing again. So I just put the little pockets on each side here. The plastic pockets are too wide for this one, or I would have done the same thing. So yeah, so I just put the little stickers here. And um, this is just, again, stickers pulled from, um, I found a Mambi, Me and My Big Idea packet on Blitzy. And it was on sale really cheap. I think they're regular $19.99 and Blitzy had them for either either $11.99 or $14.99. I'm not sure. And so I got all of these, like the big stickers here, the boxes, the note to self. All those stickers were from um, that one kit. I will actually, I have it here. And I'll show you which kit it is because they have so many sticker kits. Um, this one is the 30 sheet. And it is the just stickers. <clears throat> it's fourteen eighty six, so one thousand four hundred eighty six stickers. And it's just a whole package of stickers, and they have all kinds of books like this. So, and all the books are different. Um, some of the stickers do repeat, but most of the books are different, and they have a lot of different stickers, a lot of different sizes. These pages do tend to come out, but it's all good. Uh, they have stickers with sayings on them, which have really no function except for decorating. Then they have function stickers like this, which are little page, little teeny page flags. Then they've got the dots, the arrows, the little air strips that you can, um, here's more arrows, the little air strips that you can use for things. Just a lot of random things. And um, I cut a lot out and just put in here uh, to have a random um, supply of stickers just for you never know so they've got don't forget meeting top priority important remember so these are more of the functional stickers the um, the pretty ones the, the you know decorative ones are more in the front and then there's some here like this would be like washi you could use this as washi strips they have little cute sayings on them things that are inspirational sayings and here's some more decorating stickers this, this has no real function to them uh, these are like headers you could use for headers over top of things before you make the list and these are um, functional stickers and decorative stickers but these are clear these are on a clear background when you peel them off you would see whatever's underneath them I'm gonna take one off and show you it's a clear sticker so if you put a, some washi under it um, you would make it pop or, you know, you can just put it somewhere where maybe color is not necessary. But it has cute sayings and it also has things like to do and today, important, that kind of thing. Just a little bit. You you know, most of them are like, you know, high five, oh yes, no way, can't stop, won't stop, that kind of thing. More functional yet um, also some washi. So basically it's very random. It's just very random, this pack. There are some packs that have more, um, like it might, I think they have packs that have a, all the stickers have a purpose. Um, I want to say like fitness, they have maybe fitness pack. I think I've seen one that's more like um, a mom pack where everything has to do with mom type things. Like probably a mom for a younger kids at home type thing, not for me who's an empty nester. But yeah, so it's a lot of stickers. Like, I don't see myself buying stickers uh, for a long, long, long time. And they have this cute little elastic that um, keeps it together. And that's really nice because, like I said, some of those pages... Uh, it seems like the glue up here is really, you know, maybe not the greatest. But uh, some of the pages do tend to slip out. So anyway, that's that. So that's what I have in this yellow... Um, pocket that I made and that's just washi and then packing tape because the washi wasn't holding it too tight and then there's packing tape on the sides um, to seal it up very budget friendly very whatever this was a very cheap uh, big notebook it was much higher uh, much higher and much wider and so I cut it down as well and the reason it says planner um, 17 on it for 2017 is I had been trying to use this as the monthly planner 
you know, as you know, I have the uh, three ring mini binder, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to carry the two things. And I only do really monthly planning. I don't have enough going on in my life where I need monthly and then the weeks. I would just be using stickers to decorate and not, not really writing anything in. As you can see, I have just a couple little things here. My son's birthday, when I was dog sitting here, when I'm going to dog sit here, when I'm going to dog sit here. That's it, my day off. Because, um, you know, Martin Luther, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is Monday, so, you know, we're off. No big deal. I, that's about as busy as my life gets. I am going to go um, tomorrow to go do one of my friend's hair, but that's it. I mean, that's like, you know, my time, my... It's not something I need to write down. I know I'm going to be doing that. So I was debating about using this blank notebook and coming up with some monthly... Um, this is just the... Um, this... I cut out of the Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner, the mini Happy Planner. I cut it out because I wanted to see how big it was, how it fit, did would I like it. It's fine. I think I need to make copies of the blank one and maybe make a booklet out of the actual copied papers is what I'm thinking and not gluing it onto paper because I don't like the lifting that's happening. Other than that, it's fine. I think this would be the perfect size for a monthly calendar. I don't need more than a monthly calendar. I really don't even need this notes page. It's not necessary. I could just, you know, cut that off and maybe put a couple of pretty stickers or washi around the whole border. Something like that is, is a decorating type thing since I have all that washi. So anyway, it is what it is. I am still... Um, journaling. I did not journal. I find the weekends, I don't really have to get stuff out because the weekends are my own and I don't have as much stuff to vent about. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I found last weekend I didn't journal at all. And today is Saturday and I've pretty much been in pajamas all day. So I, again, didn't have to journal anything, but I might write a few things. <clears throat> I went and got stickers the other, I mean, good Lord, not stickers, stamps the other day because I'm going to, I sent a, uh, multimedia, uh, message, group message to the family members whose cell phone numbers I do have and asked everybody to please email me their mailing addresses because I've gotten to the point where I want to start writing more and so I'm going to start sending out um, notes. I have so many cards. I have a friend. I can actually show you. I have a my co-worker, the teacher that I work with. She makes cards. She and her mother are paper crafters, and they make cards. And every few months, she sends, she brings me 10 or 12 cards. And she's been doing this for the three years that I've been working with her. And I'll just show you some of the cards that she gave me. I think I have some more in the car. And I am now collecting cards, and I don't have room for cards. So I've decided that I'm going to just... Her mother, and I'm not sure how old her mother is. Um, let me just tell you, the teacher is 50 years old. So her mom has got to be, you know... Uh, 70s, possibly close to 80. She, her mother, with limited vision, she draws all of these things in pencil and ink. Yeah, very nice. So I have all these beautiful cards that they they make, and uh, again, this is her mother's drawing. And then um, they make all of these beautiful draw um, all these beautiful things, and I just he keep getting these beautiful lovely cards and I don't send them to anyone beautiful I mean look at that it's beautiful so I am going to start sending cards and they are they are actual greeting cards blank blank note cards you can put whatever you want in there you can use them for birthdays if you so choose but I think I'm just going to start um, sending cards to family and uh, this one is really pretty. I like the little punch outs on it. It's very different. I think I'm just gonna start sending cards to family and just, you know, maybe once a month send cards out. I think I will sit down and write every week, pick a day and just write cards. Um, and it doesn't have to be super duper, you know, Heavy. I'm not going to have to sit down and write paragraphs and paragraphs. This is real pretty, too. 
I don't have to sit down and write paragraphs, but I do think I want to start writing. I have decided in 2017 that I'm going to read more and I'm going to do more writing. And at some point I'm going to get back into drawing slash painting or something artistic. The, um, the only issue with that, doing that kind of a thing is I don't really have space for artwork, you know? So they're just really pretty and I don't know, um, I mean I guess I could do some drawing and send those out too and if I don't have, you know, if I don't feel like writing a card maybe I can just draw a picture and send a picture or something like that. My, my um, well I haven't drawn in <laughs> years and years and years and years and years. My son has just turned 22 and I don't, I want to say it's been more than no, more than that since I've drawn. These are greeting cards, um, these are bought greeting cards, cards that I've gotten from, um, specifically for my son. They have wolves on them and he likes wolves. One is a tiger. He kind of likes the big cats. So when I write to him, I try and write to him in a card with one of the big cats on it, especially a wolf. I send him a card for his birthday with a wolf on it. He really likes wolves. He's always liked wolves. I don't know why that is. Now this is a scrapbooking paper. They didn't, you know, do all this, but this is a piece of scrapbooking paper. Um, most of it's scrapbooking paper, but she adds, um, it's hard to see and I don't want to ruin, but she adds, I don't know if you can see in there, pop outs, little pieces of, um, I don't know what you call that, foam to make things pop out to give it like a 3D effect. And this, if you can see, is one, two, three, like four or five different pieces of scrapbooking paper that she has layered together to make an overall theme or effect. This is another one of those pop outs where it has the foam under it and like one, two pieces of scrapbooking paper. I'm telling you, they are just completely artistic. These butterflies have little foam under them. They pop up off the page. It's really pretty. I mean, and they're all blank. Again, they're all blank, so I can write whatever I want. They can be birthday greetings. They can be anniversaries. They could just be, hi, how are you? I love you. Um, I have a random envelope here, which doesn't have a card, so we'll set that to the side. But yeah, so... She actually told me the other day she has more cards that she wants to give me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I better get writing. So I did get stamps. <clears throat> and I'm going to start sending cards to my family on a little bit of a regular basis, a semi-regular basis, because I don't want to say I'm going to send every member a card a week. That probably won't happen. But I want to try and send every person in the family at least one card every other month. That's my goal. I have a big family. Even though my mother only had myself and my sister, my grandmother had 10 kids. And except for one, two, I think only two of them, the two that died didn't have children. I think the rest of them have kids. I want to say that's right. Anyway, let me show you what I got last thing from... Um, an online Midori Facebook group, and it is full. I filled it. Oh my gosh, did I ever. This is a, um, what is that name brand? 31 or whatever, I think it's what it's called. I don't know because I don't do name brands really, so I've heard people talk about it. But this is a 31 uh, hanging like organizer. I think you can use it for anything, really. I don't want to say it's a planner organizer, but that's what I'm using it for. So these things were in three different um, zippered, zippered, um, what do you call those? Oh, darn it. Three different zippered, ah, pencil pouches. There you go. I'm like, I'm losing my mind. So all of this was in three different pencil pouches. And so I had um, stickers in one pencil pouch and pens and pencils and scissors and glue sticks and hole punch in another zippered pouch. And so, you know, it was kind of random. And then I had all these little doodad sticky notes and stuff in another pencil pouch. So I decided, um, I, I saw this in the group. I asked the, um, the woman selling it if she would take a little less than what she wanted. I think it was like $5 less, um, with the shipping included. And she said, yes. And so she did. And so, and she shipped it so quickly. She did send it with, um, some goodies. I'm going to show you what she sent it with. So she sent it with this cute little paper clip which is, you know, good for Valentine's Day, which right now it's January, so it's perfect. And there's another paper clip in here. Oh, this one. This one was the little tree. 
which I'll probably give that to someone since I don't celebrate Christmas with Christmas tree and all that jazz. It also had these two pins, and I'm only going to take one out because they are tough to get in and out. And it is um, Smash, K, K and Company Smash, and it is a fine point pen. One is blue and one is black. And the other end is a glue stick. Isn't that cute? So freaking cute. So that's kind of cute if I'm if I'm glue sticking down my um, post-it notes because a lot of times I use those post-it notes with lines and stuff sometimes. So, and then I put the pens I use the most here because red's my favorite color. I always have a red pen, and blue. I like writing in blue. And then I have this um, ultra fine point Sharpie. It's like in a dark blue. And then here's another um, regular blue ballpoint pen. These are my other pens. I got a pack of a bunch of pens. And what I did was at one planner meetup, <clears throat> I took out the colors that I liked because it was a lot of repetitive colors. I took out the colors that I liked and then I um, gave the rest to the table and everyone took what they wanted. So, you know, it's good to have a color of each. This is a pinkish, this is a red. So I have two reds. I have two blues, actually three blues. This is a lighter blue. These two blues are exactly the same. This is more of a lighter blue. There's a purple, orange, green, yeah. Even though I don't write much in purple or orange, it's just nice to have. I also have my coloring pencils, my um, twistable, Crayola twistables. Um, I do like to color. And I have two highlighters and a, pink, a bright pink and a orange. So that's kind of random stuff. It's not stuff that I use all the time, but it's just stuff I like to have. Um, in the last pocket here, I put all the stickers, including the um, the stickers from the Mamby Pack. So this is the Mamby Pack stickers. I have a pair of Dollar Tree scissors. I have a Dollar Tree hole puncher, and a bunch of other like Dollar Store, Target, Dollar Spot, um, Blitzy stickers that I got on Blitzy. A lot of these things um, that I got, like this is Dollar Tree. But a lot of these, like this one, that are name brand, um, Carpe Diem, and uh, this was the other thing that she sent me with the um, with this pack that I, I mean, with the uh, holder. She sent me this. I thought that was cute. It's Planner Kate. I don't do Etsy shop, but it's Planner Kate. Kind of cute. These are tracker stickers for miles. I guess if you're a runner, I could always cover that up if I want to do water. And this is like washi. It's probably something she didn't want, but it's fine. Whatever. It's cool. So here again, Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Tree stickers, Target or Dollar Tree, I'm not sure. This is some more Blitzy. Blitzy is a really good place to go to get stuff. If you want um, stuff for your planner kind of cheap, they have a lot of stuff. And they have a lot of stuff that people talk about in these videos and YouTube gurus and stuff. Um, really cheap. So I, I check there often just to see what they have. If it's something that I want or need or whatever. So I don't spend a lot of money, you guys know that. So anyway, this, um, what else do I have? Oh, it has another pouch. So it has three, it has two big pouches, a big pouch on this end, a big pouch on this end, then this slender pouch, and then these holders here. And I don't know what this flap is for, but I guess maybe if I put my pens this way, then the ink goes that way. I don't know. All right, so in this pouch, I have just random, kind of very random things. So I have a big eraser. I have um, whiteout. I love this glue. If you're ever looking for a super duper glue stick, this is the best glue. I think it's, um, I got them on sale at some point. It was a two pack for eight or nine bucks because they usually run almost five dollars for one and it lasts a really long time. But it's a super duper glue stick. I mean, you cannot pick this up. Once you pick, put it down, it's down. I have look, a little, sand, uh, little snack bag of... Um, Paper clips in multicolors. This was a Dollar Tree pack of paper clips, so you know, whatever. These are Dollar Tree also. They're sticky notes, but they're in um, different shapes. So again, most of this is Dollar Tree. Um, I, this was probably not Dollar Tree. I'm not sure where I got that. Maybe Staples. And here's the pack of, um, and I don't have, it doesn't even say on it. This is the pack of, of uh, pockets, the sticky pockets. Okay, and it doesn't say where I got it from. I was hoping it would. Ugh, it doesn't. It just says 20 count adhesive square label pockets. So, sorry guys. I thought surely it had the place, the name of where I got them. Again, I want to say it's either Target or Staples. I don't know. 
This also came with the pouch too, sorry. I think that's it. These two little, you know, cutesy note card things. And so again, I just have a lot of different sticky notes. Some of these packs are big and I just cut them down. Here's a list, sticky note list. Here is sticky note hand. These are sticky notes. These are random tabs you can use for divider tabs. What else? And these notepads are the ones from Dollar Tree. This says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is just random lines. Um, again, just random, random, random. This says follow your bliss. Today is a new beginning. I can and I will and be yourself. So just so random in this pocket. So it's kind of not random because it's all like sticky stuff, sticky notes and uh, notepads. So I guess that kind of goes together. So in a way it's not random yet. Yeah, it is random. So I just love the fact that I have this um, pouch thing because now when I pull out this pouch, everything is here instead of having to pull out three different um, pencil pouches. And it is over full. It's fuller than it should be. It's definitely fuller than it should be because it really doesn't lay flat when I close it. Um, you know, it's, it does have a bump. But I have this snap. I have this snap and it's all good. I mean, it stretches, so, you know, whatever. It's in my backpack, so it doesn't matter. It's just nice to have it all in one place. But yeah, it is beyond over full and I know that. So... At some point, I will probably go through this pocket and take out some of those um, notepads because I really don't use them as much anymore. And once I start using stickers, I will, you know, this will go down some because I don't plan on buying any more stickers. There's more than enough stickers here to last me at least two years. So that's not going to be something that I am purchasing any more of. So anyway, that's that. So I have talked to you about my new organizer. I've talked to you about greeting cards and I've talked to you about my cutesy little Midori plastic faux dory Midori inspired thingy-majigger so yeah so my plans um I will be making another video soon I might do it tonight I might do it tomorrow for the ladies only but um I will be making another video next week about the van because I pretty much emptied it out I still haven't vacuumed it out yet because the bed is still in there. So at some point when we have another one of these nice days next week, I think we're having one. I'll take the whole bed out and the rubber mats and then I will um, definitely be vacuuming out the van. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like me and thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook.